Mrs. Linton, man. Hello, Arthur. Where's um where's what's his name? Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. Money my life. Me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined. The Chelonians, that strange religious order. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life, not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is he? If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. It depends. And I don't need to know much more than that. Until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Tripping around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that post on the wall over there? He's a low down huckster. Kill more than land in the rickets without even pulling a trigger. Get some kind of sick satisfaction. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the door straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? I want to make sure the women he with it be compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. Taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. You know, the price of your head. I don't know, it ain't my business. Partner, that's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to some. I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the level. I don't have a clue what you just said. Well, I'm sorry, sport. Huh? There's these funny rock carvings. They look a bit like this. Is I sort of like really badly have to find all of them. Now, it's sort of a puzzle thing. Uh, I know, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the up and up, and it's really important. Little rock car. Yeah, exactly, little rock car. What do you want to do with it? Well, it's sort of very complicated, and you'll think I'm jazzed if I tell you. You're what? Drunk. Are you? No, huh, I wish. No, I'm, uh, lost. It's a long story. Can you find the carvings? I have no idea. Hmm. Actually, uh, you mean these? Yes! Yes! Well... I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a win-win. Read him for glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. I want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest. Man, if they get up with it, shoot him. It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you pay? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it right. Let's see what I can do. He's strong, and he's smart. Strong, at least. <clears throat> Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I'm sorry, I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go. Thank you. 